Hello, my name is Eckhart Proy and I'm the music director of the Long Beach Symphony. I'm thrilled to welcome you back to the Terrace Theatre for our new season. Uh, this is a very exciting time going back to the Terrace Theatre and seeing both the orchestra and you again in person after such a long time of silence. We are overjoyed to being able to make music again and not just music, but live orchestral music, which is so important for our emotional and spiritual well-being. We hope you will join us to hear the entire classical concert series. And in each concert, we have something very special. For instance, in February, we welcome the Silver Garborg Piano Duo. This is the first time we present a concerto for two pianos. And since this is such a rare occasion, we thought, let's not play just one, but two concertos by Johann Sebastian Bach and Francis Poulenc. I have worked with the Silver Garber Piano duo many times, and they are truly amazing musicians. In March, we will play music by Edward Grieg from his Pergin Suite with the world-famous Morning Mood. And I guarantee that you will recognize this gorgeous music. One of the highlights of this season will be the return of Pepe Romero in April, this time playing a flamenco guitar concerto called Medea by fellow Spaniard and flamenco guitarist Manolo Sanlúcar. And we will end the season big with one of the great Russian tone poems, Scheherazade by Rimsky-Korsakov, an orchestral fireworks inspired by the tales of the Arabian Nights. But coming up first, after a 20-month break, is our first classical concert on November 13th at 8 p.m. at the Terrace Theatre. And we will celebrate the resilience of our country and of our community in a way only music can. We will open uh, the concert with the memorable music of the iconic fanfare for the common man by Aaron Copeland. And you know, with its mighty rhythms in the drums, followed by a soaring melody in the trumpets and the other brass, it is a powerful reminder of the strength and resilience of humanity. Many composers have been forgotten by music history, and that was also the fate of our second composer on the program, Samuel Coleridge Taylor. With him, we want to continue to do our part to diversify repertoire and poke around and see if there are compositions that have been unjustly forgotten. And Coleridge Taylor was the son to an English mother and a father from Sierra Leone, and he was truly a trailblazer who fought against race prejudice all his life. He had tremendous musical success, and um, who knows how much more wonderful music he would have written, but unfortunately, he passed away early at the age of 37. The piece we are going to play is called Ballade, and he wrote it at the age of 23. And right away, you will hear how striking his music is. It has great rhythms and melodies, it has wonderful colors, and it is dramatic and beautiful. And last but not least, the final work on the program is Beethoven's Symphony No. 7, an absolute joy to play and to listen to. It is boisterous, energetic, and full of light. The, the whole symphony is a lively journey. Um, the beginning of the first movement starts with a semi-slow introduction, which turns out to be a big, dramatic suspension before sheer, unstoppable joy breaks free. Also, there's no real slow movement, per se, in the symphony. The usual slow second movement is just a little bit more relaxed than the other movements. Uh, this following scherzo is as lively and boisterous as it should be, with a pastoral of objections. And the finale is just pure craziness, with its obsessive happy music, a truly wild dance of joy. Uh, Beethoven himself was very happy with the symphony. He called it one of my best works. And who are we to argue with Beethoven? I'm very excited 
about the opening night program and the entire season and I hope you are well. So please check out our website at longbeachsymphony.org for more information on programs and safety protocols and we are looking forward to seeing you in person very soon. Let's celebrate the return of the Long Beach Symphony together.